welcome to True Projects. In this video, we are going to explain about prediction for manufacturing factors in a steel plate rolling smart factory using data clustering based machine learning. Introduction A steel plate rolling mill is a milling machine that uses rollers to press hot slab inputs to produce high quality steel plates. Accurate detection of manufacturing factors like plate thickness and roll force is crucial for producing high quality steel plates. However, adverse manufacturing conditions can interfere with the accurate detection. A state of the art gamma ray camera can measure thickness, but it is influenced by high plate temperatures and lubricant water evaporation noise in thickness estimation and costly installation of measurements significantly impact the final product's cost and quality to overcome this issue machine learning algorithms like random forest regression gradient boosting gaussian process and the conditional linear are introduced along with a novel cluster based algorithm called dcml which is data clustering based machine learning objective the objective of the project is to predict the thickness of steel plates accurately in smart rolling factory using machine learning algorithms by evaluating and comparing traditional algorithms with the novel dcml algorithm the project aims to demonstrate the superior performance of dcml in terms of r square additionally the project utilizes the mini batch k means clustering algorithm to cluster similar data enhancing the performance of individual machine learning models by training them on the data with familiar characteristics the ultimate aim is to provide an efficient and cost effective solution for predicting steel plate thickness improving the overall manufacturing process and reducing errors caused by inaccurate predictions requirements of the project are hardware requirements and software requirements in hardware requirements operating system of windows processor of i5 and above ram of 4 gb and above hard disk of 20 gb and above software requirements are python idel of 3.7 version is required algorithms used in the project are random forest random forest is used in the steel plate thickness prediction due to its ability to handle complex relationships in the data and reduce overfitting by creating multiple decision trees and aggregating their predictions random forest improves accuracy and robustness in estimating steel plate thickness second one is gaussian process gaussian process is utilized for its capability to model uncertainty and make probabilistic predictions this is valuable in the context of steel plate thickness prediction as it follows the algorithm to account for variability in the data and provide a measure of confidence in the predictions third one is gradient boosting it is chosen because it is sequentially builds decision trees and each correcting errors of the previous one this iterative process leads to a powerful ensembling model that excels at handling nonlinear relationships in the data making it suitable for the accurate steel plate thickness prediction the last one is conditional conditional linear conditional linear model are employed due to their interpretability and simplicity they provide a linear relationship between the input features and the output which can aid in understanding the factors influencing steel plate thickness and provide valuable insights for manufacturing process coming to the methodology we have designed few modules for execution in first module which is upload real plate steel data set here we will be uploading the data set for application next one is pre-process data set in this module we will perform k-means clustering to generate clusters the next one is run dcml with random forest in this module we will train random forest on full data and then train it on cluster 1 and cluster 2 similarly we will perform with dcml with gradient boosting dcml with gaussian process dcml with conditional linear and then in the last module which is r square comparison graph in this module we compare the r square of all the above algorithms for execution of the project first open the code folder so this is the code folder and this is the data set file on this data set we will be building the models and this two are the main code files and this is the run.bat file instead of executing the project in command line interface we have created the run.bat file for execution so double click on it for execution so this is the graphical user interface of the project and this is created by using tinkter library in the python here first we need to upload the data set so for this click on the button upload real plate steel data set 
select the data, click on open. Here the data set is uploaded. Now click on the button pre-process data set. Here this is the data and x1, x2, y are the features of the data set. The total records in the data are 24 and here k-means clustering is performed and it is divided into two clusters. This is the cluster 1 and this is the cluster 2. In cluster 1 we have 9 records and in cluster 2 we have 15 records. Now click on the button run DCML with random forest. Here this is the random forest regression R square value and this is the DCML with random forest regression R square value for cluster 1 and this is for cluster 2. Now click on the button DCML with gradient boosting. Here this is the gradient boosting regression R square and this is the DCML with gradient boosting regression for cluster 1 and this is for cluster 2. Now click on the button run DCML with Gaussian process and this is the Gaussian process regression R square value for complete data set and this is for cluster 1 and for cluster 2. Now click on the button run DCML with conditional linear regression. So this is the conditional linear Gaussian regression R square value for complete data set and DCML with conditional linear Gaussian regression R square value for cluster 1 and cluster 2. Now click on the button R square comparison graph. In this graph on X axis we have the algorithm names and on the Y axis we have the R square values. Here uh, for each algorithm we run plain DCML and in the above graph Blue line is for conditional linear regression R square and red line is for gradient boosting R square and light blue is for Gaussian process and remaining bars are for DCML cluster 1 and cluster 2. Orange is cluster 1, green is cluster 2. Uh, in the above graph we can see DCML algorithms have higher score compared to the plain gradient boosting Gaussian process and random forest algorithms. Close this graph. Conclusion. In conclusion, the project demonstrates the traditional machine learning algorithms alone did not achieve satisfactory accuracy in predicting steel plate thickness. However, when combined with the novel clustering based algorithm DCML which is data clustering based machine learning, significant improvements in accuracy were observed. DCML's ability to cluster similar data and train separate ML algorithms on each group led to superior predictive performance. The findings suggest that leveraging clustering techniques in conjunction with machine learning models can be an effective approach for accurate steel plate thickness prediction in a smart rolling factory. The hybrid methodology has the potential to enhance manufacturing process, reduce errors and offer a cost-effective alternative to costly traditional methods like gamma ray sensors. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for watching video. For more projects please visit our website www.trueprojects.in. For updates on latest project videos, please visit True Projects YouTube channel and subscribe.